everybody, welcome back to another action figure review. Last time I reviewed Doctor Strange, this time it's a completely different Doctor we've got to take a look at. The Silent Screamers Series 1 Doctor Caligari. And here we have the figure in the original Aztec Toys Silent Screamers Series 1 packaging. And it's a rather impressive packaging, like all the other Silent Screamers figures, with a lot of images here on the side, a collector's card, and what you can expect inside. Nothing less than disturbingly realistic details. On the back here, the other figure from this classic German movie, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Cesare and the two figures from Nosferatu. So let's get on with what's inside the packaging. First here we have the huge base for the figure. The base has to be assembled when you get it, but it's easy since all the parts here are numbered and they are easy to peg in here. Just two pegs and two holes and they fit tight together so no problems. And then we have a backdrop here and a poster of Cesari in the back. Very cool looking base. And what else do we have? The figure itself of course and then here a staff or something like that with some kind of crystal ball on it that the doctor can use to walk with or whatever he's going to do with it. Then we have his huge hat, a pair of glasses with good details, and then on the figure we have a, a cape that you can remove. It's a soft rubber material and it feels very heavy, so you can bend it but it fits perfectly on the figure and weighs the figure down. As I mentioned earlier, this character, Dr. Caligari, is from the movie The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. So let's take a closer look at the details here. What a look in this figure's face. And his long hair is also soft rubber, so you can move it. Besides that, there is not much movement or articulation at all in this figure. But the sculpt is pretty good, and especially the head sculpt looks grisly. The only movement you get is really the arms and the hands. They turn here and the arms go up and down and that's all. You can't really reposition or articulate the figure, not even the head, which is a bit disappointing. As always, the Silent Screamers figures is a free interpretation of the original character. So when you move the huge coat of Dr. Caligari, you can reveal disturbingly realistic details of a creature nightmare underneath the coat. I don't know what this is, but it looks like snakes or serpents or nightmare creatures. And I don't really recall seeing anything like this in the movie. But as I mentioned, they make the figures what they are like in the movies and even more than that. So Dr. Caligari here gets his own interpretation underneath the coat. I think it's cool, it's not necessarily very realistic or true to the source material, but I don't really mind. It's a cool gimmick on this figure. So now we have the figure put together. Let's put him on his base and compare him to the other character from the same movie, Cesare the Sleepwalker here on the right. And Dr. Caligari is a small character. Cesare is much taller. And here we have a size comparison to a regular 7-inch figure. For now, I'll leave you with my opinion about the Doctor.
I really find these older silent screamers figures fascinating and I also do with Dr. Caligari. It's a disappointment that you really can't move or display the figure in any other way than this, but still it's a pretty impressive figure. Thanks a lot for watching, leave a comment or subscribe if you'd like to see more.